go. French toast is on the menu as Lynn Weisgerber cooks breakfast for her family. The propane grill is being relied on much more frequently this camping trip to the Cypress Hills with a fire ban in place. A slight inconvenience for those craving hot dogs or marshmallows over an open fire. Made it less fun for the girls, especially because they wanted to do their s'mores and, and, uh, and then just having the warmth of the fire and everything. With an extreme fire hazard, park officials are stepping up preparations in case of a blaze. This helicopter, normally based in the Kananaskis area, was flown in to help monitor the park. Then there's Sandra. She's an off-roading water transport truck called in to help. An additional eight firefighters have also arrived. Now we have three fire crews um, on standby available for us at a given drop, drop of a hat, basically. Fire bans also exist in 14 other provincial parks in southern Alberta. Several municipalities introduced prohibitions this week as grass fires sprung up in various rural areas. The latest fire ban announced was by the county of 40 Mile this morning. Being as it's harvest, uh, harvest time right now, we do have a lot of equipment and stuff out in the field, adding a little bit more risk. Despite the ban, campers are coming in regular numbers with few cancellations. I think people are perfectly able to have a, a great experience out here without having an open campfire. Ron Thiessen agrees. He and his kids have spent the last three days in Elkwater and says the only change this camping trip was maybe catching a little more sleep. I think we went to bed early. I think <laughs> when the sun went down, we went to bed. In Cypress Hills, Kyle Bax, Chat News.